So it's February 23rd and way more people have showed up this morning. We had all of these people camp last night. And we're just a few hours away from takeoff. We spent all morning doing lives on this convoy and it was amazing to see how it went from just, you know, a small grouping of people to a little bit bigger of a grouping of people to what it ended up being in the very end or uh, should I say at the very beginning. The overall feel was upbeat and everybody was happy and celebrating freedom. So many people showed up and everybody was there to show their support. They were thanking the truckers and giving them goodie bags. It was amazing to see. It's just proof that there is a voice out there. And these truckers are our voice. Hi, thank you so much. We do not consent.
Thank you so much. But I have a message to you know, you know what I've been through in Ottawa and Canada. Canada has gone insane right now. But I got a chance to come here, so I'm here. I, and I want to say the truckers rule the world. They lie to you. They lie to you from day one. We love you. We appreciate you. Keep the spirit alive. I love you. I love you. Right here is where we got a little confused because we were stopped at a red light in a convoy. Um, and at this point, we're not even sure if we went the right direction. Uh, it's odd because in some of our live footage, you'll see that there were people lining the highway that we were following. So we did end up getting lost from the convoy, we believe. Looking back, we really kind of wish there would have been a route posted somewhere for us to follow, like there is going on, you know, moving forward the day two. So it was it was a little disappointing to have lost the convoy, but one thing we want to say is that we are still representing the convoy as we follow through to our other destinations on this trip that we're taking. So we just want everyone to know that we're still excited we were a part of the journey and it's okay, we're not too disappointed. We ended up just heading to our next destination. One thing we did see though was the weather that these truckers were driving through because it went from being sunny to this huge dust cloud, then rain, then some snow, and I believe even a little bit of hail. So it was insane the weather that they were driving through on the west coast.
coming down. Overall, we had an amazing day at the People's Convoy, getting it rolling. That was really exciting. And the drive was so beautiful. We saw every element of weather there is. Um, and we're headed to another really awesome, fun, and beautiful spot as well. So we'd love for you to keep following our journey as well. And we are still supporting the convoy. We will be following the live stream. And make sure you're following supportfreedom.net to get all of the live stream updates through the entire convoy. And thank you everyone so much for subscribing and for following this journey with us. It was so amazing.